Hi, and welcome to the Module 4 video on how to make alpha carbon nucleophiles. And we're going to do that using enols or enolates. So the first thing is to make a definition of tautomers. So tautomers are easily interconverted constitutional isomers. So one example would be if we look at the keto-enol equilibrium over here on the right. In the keto form, which is the form for any kind of carbonyl like an aldehyde, ketone, or even esters. Notice that there's, in fact, two protons on this alpha carbon. But to convert over to the enol form, which is the tautomeric form, that proton has been removed. And then another proton, not necessarily the same one, has been added over on the alcohol side, on the oxygen side. And notice that there's been a rearrangement of the double bond position. So these two, the keto and the enol form, are tautomeric forms. They are tautomers of each other. Now this thing over on the right is called an enol because it's formed of an alkene and an alcohol. And there are two ways to make an enol under acidic conditions or under basic conditions. So first we're going to look at the mechanism for enol formation under acidic conditions. So we take some keto form, some acid, it does not have to be HCl. Note this is in equilibrium. And the first step, just like usual, is an acid-base reaction. So we have a protonation of the carbonyl. So now we have an activated electrophile. And the next thing that can happen is a deprotonation step. Now, it could deprotonate over on the proton on the oxygen to go back to starting material. That can and does happen. The other possibility, though, is protonation at the alpha carbon to give us a double bond between carbon and carbon, and the oxygen gets a pair of electrons to neutralize it. So via these two steps, We've made an enol, and that enol has an alpha carbon, which we're going to see is a nucleophile. So this is a nucleophilic alpha carbon. Now we can also make an enol under basic conditions. So we start with the exact same starting material, but well, this time we use a base, such as sodium hydroxide. Many bases are possible. Again, an equilibrium. So again, a reaction in equilibrium. Now here the first step is a deprotonation because we're under basic conditions. We deprotonate at the alpha carbon. Electrons from the hydrogen carbon bond flow towards the delta positive carbon and electrons from the pi bond go up into that more electronegative oxygen. And what we've made here is an enol 8. Alkene and what would be an alcohol except that it has a negative charge. So we put the 8 on the end of that word to indicate that negative charge. The alpha carbon of an enolate is also nucleophilic. At the next step of this reaction, starting from this enolate, the best resonance structure with a negative charge is on the more electronegative atom. Lone pair goes towards the proton source, kicking out the electrons. And then the enol that we form is the exact, exact same one as we formed before. So we've regenerated the base, which acted as a catalyst. 